I watched a Kyle Roof video about creating topical authority with a silo of five to six low volume supporting posts on a site to point to a target page as a as simple as answering uh, people also ask in 300 to 500 words. Okay. Uh, part two of the question is, I can see that being simple on a corporate or a local site that's just has a few important keywords, but what about a blog where you might have 1,000 posts to consider all to be important? Um, what's next? They're all targeted for high volume keywords, some affiliate, but some ad traffic work towards 5,000 supporting posts. Obviously, folks on better than 10,000. You know, so basically, you can, you can do supporting content for really anything, right? There's, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't matter like how important you think your keywords are you're gonna be able to find some like long tail stuff with low search volume for that that's that's pretty like kind of related to it you know um it, it sounds like you might be kind of overthinking a little bit um you know the, the, the whole point for creating topical authority is just to basically show google that you are are an are an expert on a certain topic, right? So if you're talking about, um, you know, best protein powder or whatever, the fact that you're, you have a website that has, you're answering all these different kinds of questions that Google knows exist about protein powder. They say, okay, these guys are actually serious. They're trying to, uh, you know, talk about everything about protein powder, right? And they reward you for that. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the trick here is to just to find some kind of the smaller stuff and um and uh yeah use that as supporting content to link up to your bigger stuff um and and it, and it can work on any kind of site really it doesn't matter like how big of an affiliate site you are or a local or whatever supporting content it's all and this idea of creating topical authority with these uh least you know non-important keywords they're they're all it's always a, a strategy it doesn't matter what kind of site you have you have anything else yeah i'm actually I'm currently doing that for um, a client of mine. Um, but I guess the only thing I'd add is, um, you know, just make sure that you actually manually go in through these SERPs and make sure that, um, you know, the articles that are ranking for those SERPs are actually um, directed at that particular topic and aren't these like broader, bigger, longer posts or anything, right? Because we want to be targeted with uh, what Google wants to see in those SERPs. Um, but outside of that, yeah, no, seems like a good approach. Yeah, and you can also use a, t a tool like Keyword Cupid. I think Kyle, I think I've heard, I might, I can't remember if Kyle Roof talks about Keyword Cupid, but you can use Keyword Cupid to um, to group together your people always, always ask stuff, and it'll kind of cluster them together into basically essentially different articles you could write for each one. So basically, if, if you're doing like tons of them or thousands of them even, uh, it could save you a lot of time, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely. Yeah, you were showing me that uh, last week. It's cool. Yeah, pretty cool tool. All right. Um, uh, Tom says it wasn't said by him, but I would think some short PA posts would be great for voice search, also for link building. But I don't know. Okay, one second. So Tom, um, regarding like voice search, that's not something really I worry about at all. The people always ask is just always a good thing. Uh, it's just Google knows that these questions are related to your topic. So showing Google that you are providing answers for these questions just shows them that you're, um, yeah, you're more of an expert. That, that's, that's my approach to it at least. Uh, maybe there's something I don't know about voice search. Um, and he says also for link building, better to link to that support content for variety. Yeah, you can link to anything, you know, any, adding links to anything is going to to build up the overall web, right? Um, but yeah, in, in general, um, it's, it, it is good to kind of just spread your links out and let the, the juice kind of flow around. Uh, but, you know, definitely going to probably end up giving more love to your, your very important pages, right? Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.